Hello everyone, and welcome back to X-Plane 11, where I'm continuing my flight in the F-18, currently at Berlin's Brandenburg International Airport, and I'm basically going to be doing a tour of Germany today, well, mainly southern Germany. Uh, so let me go into the cockpit, and basically the flight plan is as so, and we're going to go down to Leipzig, Munich, Stuttgart, Frankfurt, uh, Dortmund, and then we're going to end up at Amsterdam. So that's the flight plan. And originally I had wanted to fly to Paris, but I decided that this was a better flight path. It's basically a big U. Uh, we are going to be not including northern Germany, Hamburg, Hanover, that area, but I think we're recovering a good, good swath of it. And yeah, we'll see what we can hit. So that is the flight plan. And actually, let me get out of flight plan mode there. And let's get started. I will try and take it slow. Oh, we had some grass there. Whoa, a bit choppy there. So as you can see from the top, I'm trying out this sim buddy thing. And it has just logged my takeoff from Berlin Brandenburg. And I'm wondering if I can make a virtual airline eventually. Of course, after my round the world flight. Okay, on to EDDP, Leipzig. Basically, I've been looking for a replacement for FS Passengers for X Plane 11. FS Passengers was a neat little plugin that allowed you to have a virtual airline in the game, but it doesn't seem like there's like an exact analog to FS Passengers, unfortunately. But maybe this sim buddy thing is uh, at least something worth trying. I saw a potential plug-in on the forums, but it wasn't for this version of X-Plane, it was for an older version. It really looks good. But, as somebody pointed out, it is a little bit choppy as far as frame rates are concerned. A part of that is just because I'm recording with OBS as well. And part of it is I'm really running right on the edge of my computer's capabilities as far as what it can do with x 11 as well. Especially at the speeds that I'm going at with the F-18 or the SR-71. Later on, I'll fly around... Europe in a slower aircraft and that will probably be more pleasant as far as sightseeing is concerned so it made a big loop because wanted to get a few more looks at Berlin before we leave. x 11 has just been updated to 11.2 and while mainly they seem to be working on VR um, they added an ultralight aircraft and added scenery to Sydney so they are still updating with stuff like that. It's a pretty clear day here over Germany. And we are using real world weather, so presumably this is how it is. Very pleasant. I don't know the actual temperature route though. Since we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of cities, I'm probably not going to activate autopilot. We're not going to go very fast. I'll just manually fly it this time. If you guys know some other plugin or some other program that would serve the same purpose as S as FS passengers, uh, basically simulating an airline and progression and tracking your, uh, you know, giving you points for how well you perform and all that stuff, that would be great. I'm gathering that it's not going to give me a very good performance rating in the F-18 because this is hardly a passenger aircraft and I do have a very high ascent and descent rate with this. Just after I say it's a nice day out over Germany, nice and clear, all the clouds arrive. Okay, well we're 15 nautical miles away from Leipzig. And I'm not entirely sure of the relationship between the city and the airport, where the airport is, with respect to the city, so we'll have to see. So far, no indication of a city right now. 
We're going fast, but not past the sound barrier. Currently indicated airspeed is 465 knots. Well, there is an airfield. I think that would be the airport. Yep, that's that's the airport. That's Leipzig International, or what is it called? I don't have the name here. I just have the symbol. But I don't see the town. Well, I guess that's that's more or less it right there. There's a stadium over there. And some tall buildings there. Maybe that's the city center. That's a station, all right. There's definitely a large train station right there. So I think this is more or less the city center. If you guys recognize some famous building, do tell me. In theory, some some have been placed by a scenery mod or two. But let me proceed with my plan, my flight plan, which is to head south to Munich. Okay, we've taken a bit of a detour and we're approaching the city of Nuremberg. Nuremberg. Not to be confused with Nuremberg. This is Nuremberg. And I don't know if this is the city center itself or not. I think so. Sure looks like it. I'm not gonna dip down. My main goal is Munich. Okay, well, it seems that Munich Airport is well outside of Munich. This is EDDM, which is the main airport for Munich. But uh, we have to go a uh, bit further in this direction before we actually reach Munich city center. I'm still descending, and it's still loading a bunch of stuff. So we'll, we'll get some hesitation as it does so. I think it's mainly the aircraft down below at the airport right now that's causing the problem. Okay, so this is Munich. Quite an extensive park over here. Actually, lost a, lots of uh, parkland right next to the river until we actually get to the city center here. Well, there's an interesting square there. And of course, railway station. Not too sure what this barren spot is. Factory. Overall, a cozy city, uh, fairly close to the Alps. You can sort of see the silhouette of the Alps on the horizon. Back to the cockpit. We need to turn to Stuttgart. So, that's Munich for you. Outside of the cockpit. It's a bit cloudy, but we're currently flying over Augsburg. So, if there are any Augsburgians out there, hello. I don't know what you call a person from Augsburg, but... Seemed like a fair guess. Okay, we've got some cloud cover over Stuttgart. And so I've descended rapidly, but I think we're like right over the airport. Yep, right over the airport here. And there's serious clouds here though. I think, uh, whoop, it's, there we go. I think that's the city center right there. At least I hope so. Stadiums and stations. Well, there's a station, so... Yep, pretty much. Well, not as clear over Stuttgart, but... We, uh... Waved our wings over it, 
so wave the wings, and uh, we will continue on, on up to Frankfurt. Well, it's a very clear day out as we're approaching Frankfurt, and in fact, even though we are 18 miles away from it, you can clearly see Frankfurt Airport right in front of us. There's EDDF, and after this we'll follow the Rhine up, and so we'll aim to fly over uh, Koblenz, Bonn, Cologne, uh, Dusseldorf, and then we'll take a turn to the east over Essen, Dortmund, and then to Bielefeld. Bielefeld. I think somebody asked me to fly over that. And then back to the west to Amsterdam. So far we've got a range of 465 nautical miles with reserves. And the flight plan says 226 miles to Amsterdam, though we're going to be taking a big loop. So it's not going to be that great, but it'll be good enough. I think uh, this city below us is Darmstadt. Okay, uh, Frankfurt Airport is bound to produce a lot of lag, unfortunately, because there's a lot of airplanes, and it's actually a highly detailed airport. Okay, I think we've loaded all the things at uh, Frankfurt Airport. No, I think there's still some airliners popping in. That's ba mainly the problem when you approach an airport. It's sort of like render range in Kerbal Space Program. You enter render range of all the airplanes and other statics, and it slows things down. Same with buildings. Buildings with uh, big textures tend to slow things down, too. Well, some attention to detail has apparently been given to the stadiums because they do all look different to some extent. So there's another stadium there. And there's the city center of Frankfurt, this time very distinctive. Obvious detail. Quite a lot of detail to the buildings, I think. Probably too much right now for my sim. So we'll turn around and we'll head back to the Rhine. Alright, I once again find myself at the confluence of the main river and the Rhine River. And that's what we see here. And we are now turning to follow the Rhine up. Well, moving well now. It's mainly a problem near airports. Further away from airports I get, the better the performance is, and certainly at high altitude. Right now we're only at like 5,000 feet, so not high altitude at all. But at higher altitude it's smooth as silk. Okay, I'm staying to low altitude, and the city in front of us right now is Koblenz. And I guess we'll take a look outside, even though it's a bit loud. There seems to be some sort of palace over here to my right. Don't know what kind of palace that is. Or at least something sufficiently magnificent, let's say. Oh, let's continue following the river though. So there you go, Koblenz. Okay, we are entering the Rhine Ruhr Valley or area, and the city in front of us is Bonn. So, those uh, taller buildings in front of us, presumably close to the city center. And north of Bonn is Cologne, and then Dusseldorf. Seems like a. Uh, sort of homely place. I mean, lots of room, plenty of trees and all. Not particularly packed. Nice uh, riverfront parks here. Baseball diamonds. 
interestingly enough. So, baseball diamonds, lots of park space. I wonder what this park is called, I don't know. I don't have it on my map. And presumably those two buildings are actual buildings. They look too particularly textured to be anything else. There's also sort of a castle there. If you look really closely, there are some special buildings that are definitely custom to this area. Yep. Which only creates more lag, of course, but... Anyway, I like to see them, though. Since they added an ultralight to the game now in 1.2, perhaps that's the way to do a proper tour. Though that might be too slow. We'll see. Up front we see some p a power plant. Just cooling towers, uh, normally associated with nuclear power plants, and considering it's Germany, it's possible that they're nuclear power plants, but... Cooling towers are also used for other kinds of power plants too. But I think I would lean to guess that these are nuclear power plants or reactors. So there's the power plant complex, I guess. And there's uh, two more towers over here. And then the city we see in front of us is Cologne. There's a fancy bridge up front. Unfortunately, again, I don't have landmarks on my map, so just cities and highways and airports and that sort of thing. So I don't know what the bridge is called. So we've got a bridge here. Do we have actual bridge traffic right now? There are some spots where the traffic actually was. There's some yacht down there. But nothing more than that. So Cologne, we see some puffs from a... Well, I think that is actually a cooling tower. And we see a tower to the left. And there's some sort of cathedral maybe in front. Reminiscent of Notre Dame. Very much so. Maybe they use the same model. I think they use the same model as a stand-in. Maybe. I don't know. I can't tell the difference between them. And there's some sort of uh, thing here too. That's definitely a special building. Okay. And let's continue with the river here. Up to Dusseldorf. So it's been low frame rates, but we got an exceptional look at Cologne in great detail. Let's get the departing view. So yeah, plenty of detail on this city. Again, it's, uh, the f scenery is free, so you should be able to download this on the forums at xplane.org. It will do a number on your system, though. Okay, well, it's a bit more misty out as we pass by Dusseldorf. Not the best situation. I won't do as close a look as I did in Cologne. I'm running out of fuel, actually. And the clouds are just making things tough. The following scenery package has a problem. Uh-oh. That looks like uh, Netherlands landmarks. Requires an, ad an additional scenery package. Okay, understood. Well, we'll do without that. In, in the rain, currently. Oop, some roads just popped in. And there's definitely a station and some interesting buildings.
but I'm now going to head east to Dortmund. Okay, folks, the weather situation over this part of Germany is getting worse. Um, yeah, we've got lots and lots of clouds. And so I'm just going to head to Amsterdam at this point. We will take it. I mean, there, there are some gaps in the clouds. But it is getting very cloudy out here. And again, my fuel is a little bit iffy. So I'll head, I'll head over uh, my target, which is Dortmund. And then follow the line. So I'll have to give Bielefeld... A miss this time and just try and make sure that we fly over it some other time possibly with a slower plane all right we are over Dortmund and well it's pretty clear down there but for fuel reasons I'm not gonna dip down so that's Dortmund International I believe and here I'm going to take a very sharp turn to the west. Wrong way. To the west. Yep. Oh, sudden cloud popping in. I think there's a mod to prevent that from happening. In total the flight time will be a little bit over two hours. Which is a pretty long flight for me in the F-A-18. Okay, we're currently at the border of the Netherlands and we are descending. And basically making a beeline for Amsterdam. Alright, well it's definitely not great weather to sightsee over the Netherlands right now. We're at 5,000 feet, and this is what it looks like. Not great. And we're basically not too far away from the airport right there. Time to turn west. About 20 miles. Oh, that's a serious building right there. Not 100% sure what it is, but that is a very serious building. Oh, it's probably a stadium, right? It's gotta be a stadium. Okay, traffic on the highway in front of the runway. Very good. Always like to see that. It's like having an audience. Okay, we have touched down at Amsterdam. There are a lot of airliners to our left there. That's probably a lot of lag. I'm not entirely thrilled with the runway texture, but at least the runway's flat. So that's good. Um, are the brakes on or not? They should be. It's taking an awful long time for us to slow down. Let me even put on the speed brakes just in case. Okay. So, as I taxi to somewhere, it doesn't seem like there are there's a terminal around here. That seems to be missing, isn't it? That's not right. Well, I guess I'll find a parking spot, but maybe this is what the, the simulator said that we were missing some scenery. And I guess it's here. I think this is where we're missing the scenery. I think that's what those little posts symbolize, the missing scenery. So, anyway. I'll uh, get to somewhere here, but for now, for now I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.